Howdy, my name is Paul. In our previous video, we learned how to set up and install Asterix on a Raspberry Pi and configure a Grandstream VOIP phone to connect to that Raspberry Pi PBX server, all using the Broadband Hamnet network. In this video today, we're going to show you how to set up a Cisco 7940 phone to connect to that VOIP server located somewhere on the Broadband Hamnet network. Before you get started, there are a couple items you're going to need. You're going to need to have a previously configured Raspberry Pi PBX server. You're going to need a Cisco 7940 VOIP phone. You're also going to need a broadband hamnet node and enough ethernet cable in order to get the project accomplished. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do in setting up the Cisco 7940 series VOIP phone is go ahead and perform a hard reset on it. In order to do so, you're going to press and hold the pound button. These lights will flash when they all go through their sequence. Release will set reset key detected. And then we're going to enter the password 123456789 star zero pound. Once we do that, it'll ask if you want to save the network config, yes or no. Go ahead and press 2 for no. And then it'll say, factory reset initiated. And then it will reboot and start configuring itself on the LAN. So for now, we are done with the phone. And now we need to move over to the Asterix PVX server. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is go ahead and uh, figure out the host name or IP address of the Raspberry Pi PVX server. In order to do so, we come here and we'll log into the Broadband Hamnet network by typing local node colon 8080. Once we are at the status page, uh, we can go ahead and figure out the IP address or host name of the Raspberry Pi by logging into the administrative section of the Broadband Hamnet network node configuration. We'll notice here I have the host name set up as Ravs PBX with an IP address here. So you can go ahead and open up WinSCP and uh, log into the Raspberry Pi server. Every now and then you will get an error message saying host is not communicating for more than 15 seconds, still waiting. Just leave this alone and it will go away and the host will connect. Once you're logged into the Raspberry Pi PBX server, we need to go to the root directory on the Raspberry Pi PBX, and that's what this is over here. You know you're in the root directory when only you see a backslash up here. If you're not there yet, go ahead and go up a level until you're, you are there. Over here on the left-hand side, we have the firmware files and the configuration files for the Cisco 7940 VOIP phone. So what we need to do is go ahead and open up TFTP boot and place all of these files, which you can find in the link below, over to the TFTP boot directory on the Raspberry Pi. Now let me just walk you through what each one of these are real fast. The dial plan here, uh, this specifies how the phone acts uh, when it comes to regards to dialing. Uh, numbers on the 7940 phone. OS79XX through uh, P0S38200SB2 those are all the firmware files for the 7940 uh, SIP phone. Ringer 1 and 2 and ring list are the ringtones that are stored on the, the 7940 phone. Each individual phone is going to have to have its own special configuration. How this works is it's capital SIP and then the MAC address of the phone that you would like to connect up. So it's SIP MAC address dot CNF. SIP defaults is going to be uh, the default configuration for all of the 7940 phones whenever a configuration is not present in the SIP MAC address config file. And then XML defaults is also a part of the firmware list as well. So what we need to do is go ahead and open up uh, the SIP MAC address config file and go ahead and change line name 
authentication name and short name to be the extension number of the extension we set up on the Raspberry Pi PBX server in the previous video. The password is going to be the same thing as we set up for that extension number. You can go ahead and change the line one display name uh, to be whatever you would like. This is basically just used for SIP messaging. And if you'd like to be able to set up your own password for the phone, you can go ahead and change the phone password uh, so you can lock and unlock your configuration settings uh, manually. So once you have the name, auth name, short name, password, display name, and uh, a phone password set up, go ahead and save this file. We next need to move on to the SIP default file. We'll go ahead and open that up. The two items we only need to change are the po proxy one address right here to be the IP address of the Raspberry Pi PBX server. And likewise down here with the HTTP proxy address, this also needs to be that of that of the Raspberry Pi PBX server. Once these IP addresses are put into here, we can go ahead and save this and uh, close it. And we're done with the Raspberry Pi PBX server. And now we need to go back over to the phone to finish the setup. So back on the phone, let's go ahead and plug this into the broadband hamnet network so it can get its own unique IP address. When you plug it in, it's going to say configuring VLAN and then it will bring us to the home screen. So once it finishes booting up and it tries to request a configuration, it's going to be unable to do so because it thinks the TFTP server is located on the unique broadband hamnet node that it's plugged into, even though it's located on the Raspberry Pi. So we need to go into the 7940, change the TFTP address from the broadband hamnet node to the Raspberry Pi. So what we need to do now is tell the Cisco 7940 series VOIP phone where to look for the TFTP server. In order to do so, we're going to go into settings. We're going to unlock our configuration. So go ahead and scroll down to unlock. The default password is going to be lowercase Cisco. So that's C I S C O. Then press accept. Then we're going to scroll up to network configuration number three. We're going to scroll all the way down till we find alternate TFTP. Right now it says no. We need to switch this to yes. Then we need to scroll up and, and TFTP server. We need to change this address here to be that of the Raspberry Pi. Once we do that, go ahead and click Accept and Save. The phone will then reboot. It will grab the configuration information from the Raspberry Pi and automatically configure the phone to communicate with the Raspberry Pi located on the Broadband Hamda network. And with that, we are connected to the Broadband Hamnet Network. In order to make sure that we are, we can go ahead and call ourselves. So in this case, the extension number was 535-5462. So if we go to line one, dial ourself, our own phone will ring. And now we are ready to finish setting up more phones. So once you have one phone set up, and it's very easy to add other phones as well, all you'd have to do is go into WinSCP, copy and paste that SIP MAC address file, and change the MAC address and, ex and relevant information inside that file to be unique to the other phone as well. And with that, that gets your Cisco 7940 series VOIP phone onto the Broadband Hamnet network in order for you to use. Thanks for watching the video and happy meshing.